walked along this track at the start of the episode. Stay close to these small zones. And then she cut a left right about here. In between these two stones. And the place that she put the, her one knee down before the uh, vampire jumped up or revived in the grave was right here. They started fighting, and the vampire threw Buffy against that white stone over there. That one. And he had her, he had her pinned back on top of the stone, and all of a sudden he goes something like a Buffy or something, and, and he recognized her from, from Sunnydale, and they started talking conversations. next stone where she leaned against it too and they talked and about their good times at Sunnydale. They put the casket in, uh, in this area. The puppy was just laying down and they sat up and everything like that. And finally of course vampire turned bad and hit her with that statue and she fell over on, on, on the uh, north side of the casket corner right about there and she was sitting down on the grass trying to revive herself from below finally she got up and they started the fighting again and walked over ran over and fought over near these, these two stones. Those two brown stones. They went through here, fighting. And Buffy took a big blow right here and leaned on the stone here, on the, on the sides to uh, to get up to uh, help her get up to fight. So in the final stages, of course, she charged towards him and uh, they were fighting a little bit. And uh, one of her kicks over there, uh, kicked him into a Willow's Crypt uh, side window or something like that. And that ended the outside episode. But Willow's Crypt, of course, doesn't have any windows. This is just cement there, blocks with an iron grating in front of it. There's no uh, windows to bust through. So that was the end of Conversation with Dead People.